on the edge of Austin, Texas, from the newly minted Diamond Club studio, where Brian is surprised that anyone showed up again, we have, and it's going to be, a great night. Tonight's guest, Brett the M Tracker, Ron Seville, and a surprise musical guest. And now, here are your hosts, Brian Brushwood and Justin Robert Young. Finally, we got a chair between us so that we can set down our beverages. What's this in my pocket? Oh, it's a backup beverage. Oh, shit. Oh, you're smarter damn. than me. That's right. Oh, wait, spoil you? What? No, you're smarter than me. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you, I thought you said. No, oh, no, I know. <laughs> that was going to be oh, a great. You spoil me. <laughs> That's what I thought you, you were in. Spoil me. me. Hello, like you beautiful masters, you demon hordes of the internet. Thank you very much for the introduction. The sound of a warm handshake on a cold. Old winter's day. Yeah. Mr. Brett Weaver. Uh, too many Bretts. That's our new show. Too We've many got Bretts. a lot of Bretts tonight. Uh, yeah. So hopefully, I'll tell you what, here's a fun game. Uh, Bryce, let me know if, I guess we could start off with a bit of notes from last time. Yeah. Uh, let me know if I'm clickety clang and all over the place by holding ah. the mic. Ah, okay. I will. Uh, we've we've got you a shock mic. Yeah, we've there. got shock mounts now. Bro. Yeah, because you were all shocked last time. They're and like, "Oh my god, <laughs> he's just clickety clacking that <laughs> mic the entire goddamn." This is the show, huh? Yeah. The no. sound of a great night sounds like a, a, a shaking a mic. Uh, well, look, uh, there was the MVP last week. Minimum viable product. We're gonna move it a little forward. Yeah. And now it's gonna be the median viable product. Uh, oh man, I hope this is not our median. I, I hope we have a lot higher to go. Uh, we'll this we'll is say gonna be the meh viable uh, product. Uh, uh, the 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 gonna be the mumble. Help, viable help product. us out here, Brett. Uh, uh, what what's another M word? The maximum viable. No, 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 A massive. Let's go back to median. How about median? That'll be fun. It'll be the medium viable product. How product? I feel like that's going to be the way to go. We've got a great show. One of the things that we have the ability to do here in the studio now that we're all live. Mediocre viable product. The mediocre viable product That's better than minimum. will include a, a first-time guest appearance by a longtime friend of the show. Yep. Uh, it will also include a surprise musical guest. Yep. Uh, which I, we, I, have, we, we, we have yet to, yet to reveal. I, and I, I feel like now we shouldn't. I, I, I don't know why I'm the only one who wants to keep it a secret. Yeah. That's true. Uh, <laughs> I'm, but, like, but, but I'm like, people I, will I like it. People I, will I mean, like it's, it. it's going to be in the liner notes. Liner notes? What is this, an LP? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to blow, blow the, 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 the dust off my... Along my, with the rest of the Beastie Boys lyrics will be, uh, uh, you're gonna who, be who the musical the guest is. And find out who the musical guest is on the back of the liner notes. Uh, uh, no, so we have that, and that's going to be uh, great. But what do you say we go ahead and get started? Bryce, what's our first topic? Oops. Uh, our first, <laughs> like, we're still learning some of those tricks here. Mediocre, right. viable, Mediocre product. viable products. Bob Barker's new job. It's okay. not Barker. Yeah, so this is one of those that I'm going to guess is not a Brian story. It's not a Brian story. I So I'm listening to the, uh, the autobiography of Bob Barker. Of course you are, because why because, wouldn't you be? Well, why wouldn't I? And uh, uh, it... There was a clip in there that reminded me of one of the original uh, NSFW show bits, even before Night Attack. And that was, this might even be a BB Live show, to be honest with you. Uh, there were clips from Barack Obama's autobiography Ooh. that he had read himself. I guarantee you that was before we were affiliated with any network of any variety. Yeah, because it was the president of the United States. Liberally using the N-word. Liberally, yes. Uh, uh, Which is the only way a true gen democratic president should use the, as li liberal. Oh, done, okay, that conservatively right. using the yes, N-word? Yes, I, I thank you. Uh, <laughs> I thank would you. like to use the <laughs> N-word now. Conservative. Why can't I use it as a conservative? <laughs> <laughs> Very rarely and only when appropriate. <laughs> Sparingly when only the treasury can bear it. Uh, and not on outrageous programs that are <laughs> corrupting the minds of our children. So we have I that. want our inwards. I, I swear to God, I could do an hour of this. Our inwards. Our inwards. Yes. What are we doing? <laughs> this I, is it. 
Something about the Fed. <laughs> They're printing N-words left and right, my friends. N-word. All right. No. But <laughs> anyway, Barack Obama said that in his audio book. And uh, uh, I really would love if people, because I'm sure since then, that was many years ago. There's many audio books made. Audio books got really, really popular in the intervening time. I would love it for people to send in their favorite versions of these, especially when celebrities read their own audiobooks and they're telling stories of their lives. Very often there are fun little clips that out of context, and we're not going to spend a lot of time on this. We're just going to play this out of context because it delighted me to no end and I saved it for the show. So here we go. This is Bob Barker's new job from his book, Priceless Memories. And it said, honey, I have been offered a role in a pornographic movie. <laughs> All right, now, is, is, I want to play the guessing game of, uh, so I assume from context, he's already done The Price is Right at this point, or, or... Wait, you think that this was after? Well, I mean, wait, wait, oh, I'm sorry, was he a hot commodity for pornos beforehand? <laughs> so, I don't know if we should even get it, because it only gets less funny. In fact, Price, can we play it just one more time? Man, I just picture, I just picture two people fucking, I picture him walking, and we're like, are both of you spayed or neutered? <laughs> <laughs> Help control the porn population, said, people. <laughs> yeah. I have Make been offered a role <laughs> in a pornographic movie. <laughs> it's just one of like the most golden voice in broadcasting, which I, in the audiobook you could take your leave, but uh, 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 certainly it's worth having Bob Barker in your ears for five hours. Uh, Bryce, what's our second topic? Our second topic today is bump. This Bryce this tweet. What? So, did, does it break first, Adirondack chairs? For the first time. <laughs> <laughs> I was, can I, can I, can I share? I have an Adirondack chair at home. Yeah. And, I, it, and I was sitting in it yesterday and it's a night, it's nicer than the one that broke. I broke one. Oh, please tell me you <laughs> broke this one too. I don't know if I'm breaking it or not. <laughs> it's like it has a like, peg. It has pegs in the legs so that you it won't fold up on itself. But I I don't know if I'm sitting in a neutral position or if I'm actually. Bending this that is shit. like this is like a villain origin story. When, <laughs> it's only when you destroy your own chair that you realize that your cake was designed to, <laughs> to break, to break wood. Chair, to break wood. Yeah. Uh, 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 we have not yet on great night explored the fact that our our dear price neshkam castillo yes. is a prolifically weird tweeter uh <laughs> yes uh yeah, long time true. fans of our previous incarnation of the show whose name i will not say for fear of being awarded the belt which right now justin has uh we we've quoted him and uh bryce tweets the way i wish i could which is <laughs> without a care in the world about whether you get it or not so i was on <laughs> twitter.com I saw mm -hmm. this Bryce tweet. So this is from the at Brykus account. Uh, 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 let's see. <laughs> uh, uh, you know what? If I may read. Yes. Imagine saying, oh, my mother. Italians do this all the time. Wow, Bryce. <laughs> <laughs> so it's him saying this on Discord <laughs> uh -huh. to himself. Just well. imagine saying, oh, my mother. Separate thought. <laughs> Italians do this all the time. Same thought. Some Same thought? Say. Okay, it's adding <laughs> to it. Italians do this all the time. Racist, and then he <laughs> knows it because he just goes, wow, Bryce. It <laughs> ends up sounding like a, a, a breaking of traditional form of a haiku. <laughs> it is. It is. It's a so, Bryce coup. It's a Bryce coup. A Bryce coup. A Bryce, a Bryce uh, coup. <laughs> imagine saying... Oh, my mother, <laughs> Italians, Italians do, do this, this all the time. time. So it's seven, eight, two. <laughs> wow, wow, Bryce. Bryce. <laughs> That's a bright But coup. then he, Bryce, you think bright it's coup. so funny that you need to screen cap it and tweet it? Yeah. I thought it was fucking funny. Okay. Uh, hey, what do you think, uh, what? You, know, you know what? I'm on Team Bryce with this, man. Guilty as charged. Look, if there's honor. anyone we can be <laughs> racist to, it's Italians. I'm sorry. <laughs> yep. This is oh, jokes. There. This is there. comedy show. No. Uh, look, look. It's funny. So wait. So do you say, oh, my mother, like an Italian? 
I don't that I, nobody says oh my mother. That's what I'm saying. That's yeah. That's Mama Mia. Oh, oh, that's where you see? were going. See, okay, oh, see? it is a okay. good tweet. It is a good tweet. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the screen fade off. Imagine <laughs> saying, "Oh my mother!" <laughs> Italians do this up, but you're saying because it's yeah. Mamma okay. Mia. So th that's right. Of, yes, think, yes, think, yes. Think, yes. Think, think of all the times you say Mamma Mia, and then imagine all right, say, here we go. Oh my mother! One. <laughs> Just now. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much that's it. All right. All right. So imagine some lady lifts up her skirt and spreads her legs. You would go, oh, my mother. <laughs> 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 or some dude pulls down his pants, giant horse cock flops out. You're like, oh, my mother. <laughs> <laughs> or somebody No, you, keep going. You, you keep going. Paid. You get, why you would exclaim you, oh my mother. You get paid and then they open up uh one of those silver briefcases yeah. with, and it's and just filled it, with hundred dollar bills. And then you realize that there's a hole cut out like a pizza man porno and a there's big a horse cock yeah. flips out and you go, Oh my mother <laughs> Oh this and a sausage too. <laughs> They do this every day. What do you want from me? It's funny. <laughs> I'm 100% on your side. Oh, right? no, I do. I am 100%. You are right, and Justin is wrong on this one. <laughs> Has Thank there you. been a Pulp Fiction porno where they open up the case and it's like the pizza guy trick with the dick in the middle? He, he opens it up and it's glowing in yeah. there. And then Whoa. just a light bulb next to him. Yeah. Like is, that, is that what I think it is? <laughs> Yeah. Right, what's the next topic? Our next Band topic is from him getting skull fucked from behind. <laughs> That's bad land. No, no, that was where the cum came out so hard and shot out it the back of his neck. It, it, it's the Kennedy wound. <laughs> the Kennedy wound. <laughs> they call it the Kennedy wound. Uh Badlands America's latest prize. Yeah, this is uh this is one from from uh your boy. Do do you guys know I I think some of the people in our chat know Badlands. Uh, do you, either of you know Badlands Chugs? Uh, oh, 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 I thought I did until the second word <laughs> escaped your mouth. So, and then I thought, oh, my mother. Uh, so, <laughs> <laughs> so over the weekend, uh, the, the National Hot Dog Eating Contest happened. Oh, God damn it. And they have uh, got a, they've got a new... Did he wound? Uh, they've got a, a, a new um oh, here we go a new superstar they've got not only a new superstar but a new event this is the inaugural uh chug contest we're gonna play this oh, here from our dear. friends at espn so what that's, are they chugging? They're chugging lemonade. There's a gallon of lemonade. Chugs is on the real lemonade, or is it uh, 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 is it Crystal Light? Uh, I'm sure uh, it's it, real. It's Nathan's right, I'm lemonade. I'm assuming. So Badlands is is seems about as tall as he is wide. He is a perfect square, and he is slamming this lemonade. I think he's destroying it. It's a gallon. This is a gallon of lemonade. Think of a gallon of milk. It's lemonade. He's destroyed almost <laughs> all of it. Wow. Think of a gallon of milk. It's milk in lemonade form. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. There you go. That's uh, how long is that? Uh, like 42 seconds. 40 seconds to, to kill a gallon. And. Uh, okay, pause, 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 pause. That sounded like one of those kind of like at some point the burp became fake and he just kind of growled. Oh, sure. I mean, the man's trying to make a brand here. Brands, lads. Uh, yeah, this is uh, he's a he's he's like a uh, he's a YouTuber and he guess what? Guess what his uh, his shtick is? Chugging and eating shit. Chugging lots and lots of liquids and sometimes food, but I think it's mostly liquids. Uh, and so now he he's legitimized like he's yeah. he's he's done what what the Paul brothers couldn't. He went to <laughs> he went to the professional ranks and dominated. Oh, did uh, I, I never paid attention to how that all shook out, uh, I guess. The exact way we thought it was going. OK. All right. Yeah. Yep. Uh, all right. Yeah. The Paul brothers danced around and they and, and everybody made money. Yep. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> another topic here for you. Topic. Brian's F9 review. Oh, I feel like, uh, you know what? Um, a review like this isn't just a review. No. In fact, uh, Brian, what this review needs is family. <laughs> uh, so God let's go ahead right. and bring in let's Brett bring the in our family. Brett the Antrick around Seville. <laughs> so, family. uh, Yesterday, I get a text from Brett saying uh, uh, I have arrived in Austin, 
And then yep. uh, I think it was about 15 minutes later saying, would you like to see F9, the new Fast Saga movie? Yeah. Uh, and then the follow-up text was, it will be at the Alamo Draft House uh, at Lamar. And to be honest, I just had the thought, uh, would I like to watch pictures move while I have a pizza and sit next to Brett with a beer in my hand? And the answer was yes. <laughs> now, now here's the, the, the preamble. Uh, Brett, how many Fast and Furious movies have you seen? Oh, at least three. At least three of yeah. them. I would estimate I've seen five, maybe six of yeah. the nine. Uh, Brian, how many have you seen before... Uh, uh, before for yesterday, donut baby zero amazing zero. Oh, amazing a single one Brian the unicorn brushwood. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, it was a delight to be there with you. <laughs> it was it was like watching if it, it, you know what it was it was like watching a, a single episode of Rick and Morty at one quarter speed. Like, like what should be a, a 30 second montage takes three minutes for some reason. Oh, and yeah. then, uh, I, uh, uh, it was surreal. It was, it was insane. Um, I don't know that I'll be watching any more of them, but I'm very happy <laughs> what? for the one that I watched with you. That was really a delight. You're killing me. I don't know how we all left the theater and didn't go straight to watch Fast and the Furious one. I am yeah. dying to know how we got to this place. They go to space in that one. No. Probably not. Uh, I mean, as Justin said, if there's John one Cena's, thing John they Cena's do, in that one, though, right? it's escalate. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So in other words, like, that's, that's like riding an escalator up to the top and saying, you know what I'd love to do is go uh, back to the, go first back to the very bottom yep. and, and then slowly walk up these stairs. So, all right, like, before, no, before, I'm already at the gap. Before we go into any explanation of the Fast and Furious franchise, can you please summarize... Or the audience, the plot of F9. Uh, I did not saw, know. I, I didn't know we were already on to the game segment. Uh, <laughs> no. Here we um, go. So, and, okay. I, and I feel like this is going to be like you always uh, mentioned with Bonnie that she can sing royalty-free versions of any song yeah. because it's always close enough but yep. not exactly something that, that you would immediately recognize. Great. So I feel like that's what you're going to do here. Okay, so uh, it starts on uh, there's a hero uh, who refuses a call. <laughs> 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 like quite literally. Do you remember Vin Diesel's <laughs> all character's adventure. name? Do you remember Vin uh, Diesel's character's name? Uh, the he's he's the only name they say so many times you can't miss it. It's dumb. It, everyone's dumb. a dumb, yeah. dumb, 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 yeah. dumb. And then it's I'm like his name's the Iron Giant. Uh, but the uh, uh, <laughs> but uh, uh, so quite literally, there's a call to adventure that he quite literally refuses, refuses. until. He realizes that he can't help himself, and he literally crosses into the underworld where he goes on a series of adventures. Don't I, let him off with this. Make yeah. him specific. No, 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 no. Why, 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 why does okay. he cross the threshold? Uh, because he is gonna, sad he's gonna uh, about his, Mexico. His, bro his chase. brother, 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 but we don't know is his brother yet. Do we? He knows it's his. He brother. knows it's his brother. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Because all right. All right. Here's the whole. Here's the whole movie. Go. 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 New game. Go. 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 Brian, Brian, as many Brian specifics saves you twenty bucks. Right. Yep. As many right. specifics. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Yo, what up? I'm Dom. I'm I'm having <laughs> sex with that lady who painted her helicopter in that James Cameron movie. Oh, what's this baby? It's not hers. I'll tell you that much. Anyway, <laughs> good thing I love fixing things. Also, all things are fixed with a wrench. If you know anything about engines, you better be moving a wrench halfway through. It's every just literally the scene. first five minutes right? of the movie. And it's like. <laughs> And you're like, oh, what's this? A fucking car driving down a road? Well, fucking uh, uh, get guns. Kid go hide in a hole. And the kid goes and hides in a hole. And it was like fucking a car on a road. I ain't never seen such a thing. <laughs> and then the car drives up. And then out comes like, like, just like, I don't know who these people are, but they're all like, what did you think we were bad guys? And he's like, well, "Why didn't you call me? Because you don't have a phone." Who cowboy in the city? And then, <laughs> and then they're all anyway. He's, he's like, "Chick, chick, put it away." And then it's like, "Hey, anyway, there's a call to adventure. Do you want to take it?" And he's like, "No, I refuse the call to adventure." Specific. And then I, I, the call to adventure is 
there's there's a dude named Mr. Nobody. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Hey. All right. And it's like, look at this. Here's an iPad. Remember these? And, <laughs> and the guy and the guy's like, it be uh, 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 Skype. Get an opal. We are still <laughs> in the first five minutes of the movie. And, 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 Brian is doing this have real I, Have talk. I gotten anything clearing, wrong? No. no. We're clearing no. out the rest of the show. <laughs> Brian's going to do Fast 9 in real time. And so he's like, oh, uh, uh, bad Skype. Uh, uh, you got to. And then, uh, and then uh, he's like, he's like uh, you know, I made a choice. I ain't going. And then she's like, well, I was in Avatar, so I'm leaving. Bye. And then she goes and leaves. And then, and then he's like, let me take a moment to remember my brother uh, uh, who wore a cross. And when I think of crosses, I think about Mexico. And I think about my dead dad. Oh, you don't know my dead dad? Let me take you back to the 80s with Michael Rooker wearing a lot of makeup. And a lot wig. of makeup <laughs> and a big old wig. Uh, anyway, uh, here's an actor who may or may not be my de-aged face, but is definitely meant to be me. Uh, and another actor who is definitely of a different ethnicity <laughs> than me. Uh, anyway, uh, whatever you do, Dad, don't drive over that oil patch and blow up. You got it, son. <laughs> <laughs> Go in a circle, go in a circle. Ah, uh, oh, there's something wrong with the car. I feel like I want to drive over that oil patch. Don't do it, Dad. Ah. <laughs> and then it's like, ah, what? All these cars, I got to run over to the flaming wreckage of this car. And he's like, and then the other guy's like, don't do it. That's traffic, son. <laughs> and he's like, Dad, you're, you're over. Th ah. And then he, and it goes back to him and he's like, now I'm thinking about Mexico and crosses. Yeah, I think I do have to go. And so, and so they're in foreign land. <laughs> and I what continent? Land. What continent? Uh, South America. They're in South America. Okay. And I know it's South America because uh, the name ends in an A, and you hear rum gum 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 and helicopter shots or whatever. And there it's like, well. We don't have the whole team, but I guess most of us are here. And you hear, and everyone's like, no way, no way. Who's that going to be? And, and he pulls up and he skids in his perfect charger or whatever. And he's just like, it's all about family. <laughs> and, then, and then they're like, let's, let's get this thing. What's the thing? Oh, that's right. It's the, cla the crash plane of, of the guy who should have been on Opal instead of Skype. <laughs> uh, and, and so they drive up and they're all like, Hey, just so you know, the government could be here at any minute. And then the government shows up. And then and it's about in a minute. <laughs> and then they, they run off and they drive. And they, they're like, oh, where are we going to go? And it's, uh, wait, do they even grab anything? I think, I think they grab half a MacGuffin. Like, like half, half a, yep. half a, yep. Uh, yep. Uh, oh, my God, this is a half-solved Rubik's Cube. Only it looks like there's another part of the cube that needs to be attached to it. And so they're driving, and it's like, we got to find a way to get out of here. And then, and, and, and Michelle Rodriguez says, uh, 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 I, uh, wait, no, it's not her. It's somebody else. Uh, they're like, I think there's a bridge up ahead. And they're all like, sounds good to us. <laughs> so they all drive towards what they think is a bridge. It turns out to be a very fragile bridge. But... Then John said, he shows up. And he's just like, by the way, I'm your brother. Don't ask too many questions. Give me that half-finished Rubik's Cube. And then drives and then and then and makes it across. No, no, no. Somebody else makes it across the bridge. Bridge breaks apart. And then uh uh they barely make it and they ruin the bridge. And then he goes and and you're like, oh, what's he doing? There's no bridge there left. But the, he flies off, and then all of a sudden, an airplane comes in, scoops him up. John He's Cena. like, bah, bah, yeah, bah, yeah. <laughs> all, all off into the yeah. distance, right? And then, and then, and then, uh, uh, then the Iron Giant shows up. What is going on? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but Brian's getting copyright <laughs> uh, <laughs> live takedowns on my description. <laughs> but, it, but but then but then but then uh, the Iron Giant makes it there. Uh, oh oh, by the way, uh, in this universe. 
anybody can fall from any height, <laughs> but if they land on the hood of a car, they're fine. Yes, right? Yep. Okay. Cars are pillows. Rules. Cars uh, are pillows. Yes, correct. Cars are pillows. So, 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 so he's going, uh, and he was like, I thought you were there, there was a bridge. And then, and they're like, there's no bridge. They're like, but the military is behind us. And it's like, well, let me press this button. And, and Michelle Rodriguez is like, no. <laughs> but also like, a little bit. Oh, yeah. Yes. And she's like, no. And he's like, Superman. And he presses the fucking button and it grabs on. It, it, it's a gizmo in his fucking car that's designed to grab ropes. Oh, I think it just gets tangled in his wheel. Why did he press the button then? To go. Shh. Sorry, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> we will be okay. accepting notes at the end, Brad. <laughs> anyway, fucking car does a Tarzan swing, and then and and, and he lands, and he's just like, oh man, I think that guy was part of my family. Uh, and then, uh, <laughs> uh, then the movie gets more dumb. Uh, you have uh, a remarkable memory of the first 15 minutes of this movie. I could not have done this. Keep going, please. Uh, uh, oh, no, no, no. There's a great moment when uh, 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 the two guys that drove across the bridge, like for whatever reason, their car flips over and ends up hanging over them and escapes. And the guy like wanders out like, oh, I barely made it. And then the car squishes him. And I swear to God, Brett saw this. I went up like this. <laughs> like, <laughs> fucking tell me they actually just killed a, one human being. Yeah. Full stop. And then uh, uh, five seconds later, he's like, whoa, that fell right in front of me. Because there are no consequences to anything in this universe. Full stop whatsoever. Uh, okay. By the way, that happened before where Brian is. Yeah. Like, he remembers so much of the first 15 <laughs> minutes of this movie that he's remembering things he forgot. Okay, so... Uh, 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 then they're, then they're like, uh, now that the family's together, we got to play like some Parcheesi or something. And so they all get together in their what? clubhouse uh, uh, or whatever. I don't know. What do families oh, do? Go, 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 go. <laughs> Brian <laughs> Brushwood, the father of three asked, what do families do? <laughs> <laughs> the point, the point is, it's like, uh, they're like, hi, it's me. My name is I.D. That's information dump to you, sir. And then and and she's like, here's a slideshow that I just programmed. Uh, hey, it's me, Mr. Nobody, the guy who should have had an Opal that, I, that was on Skype instead. Uh, I was up to a lot of shenanigans. Um, uh, one of them was this half-solved Rubik's Cube. So anyway, have you ever seen G.I. Joe, the miniseries, not the full show in the mid-80s, where they had to get the heavy water and the, uh, uh, the, the helium and the other thing and combine them, and it was... Cobra versus G.I. Joe, but there was also Zol Zoltan, Zoltar, I forget his name, uh, who was kind of a wild card. That's this movie, because there's also the key. Anyway, go. Um, and, and so they all go. They, and first of all, oh, I do remember this part. They're like, best thing, <laughs> best, best thing we could do is split up. And so they do, because that's because of family. Yeah. <laughs> and, then, and so they split up. Uh, 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 oh, uh, uh, also, they introduced her like, uh, Hey, remember uh, uh, Imperato Furiosa? She's more furious than ever, but with a bowl cut in a plastic box. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> and then, they, then they keep on going. Uh, you find out that John Cena uh, uh, eventually... Uh, oh, oh, uh, I, think, I think at one point Dom wants to find out why John Cena killed his father. Uh, oh, no, no, no. The way he finds out <laughs> is he's in prison because he beat up... The guy who drove his dad off the off the track, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and then he goes to jail. And young Dom, it, the whole scene is like one minute long, and it's just like, uh, uh, <laughs> of course, it begins with him in wrenching. The, the prison, <laughs> wrenching. wrenching, and then and, and then, it, and then Latino number one and Latino number two are like, who are, oh yeah, Vato, who, who are arguing about whether or not money is real. <laughs> <laughs> then they say, hey, whatever you do, don't look for a hairline fractured on that fifth Fetzer valve. That's an old racing trick they used to use to sabotage engines. And Dom goes, mm -hmm. <laughs> and so, uh, and then, and, uh, and, and then the little Fetzer valve looks up at Dom and goes, you can't see me. <laughs> And those so, are horns. Those are car horns. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, yeah. after about 20 minutes, he gets let out of prison. <laughs> we're 20 minutes into the... We're 30 minutes into this show. <laughs> I mean, 
in 20 <laughs> minutes out of a long By the way, we're staying with this for as long as he remembers. We're getting everything. There is no way this isn't the most epic retelling Get to the ever. end. Go, go, go. All right, all right. All right. So, so uh, 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 they find, they're like, uh, yeah, we got a new clubhouse, kids. Uh, oh, jeepers. They make a joke about the Ninja Turtles being down here because it's in the sewers. And they're all like, what are these, magnets? And they flip a switch and they're like, ah, they're real powerful magnets. That'll be a fun plot device. Anyway, uh, and then uh, uh, I, 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 there, there, there's, there's a douchebag. Uh, they meet a lady who stole a necklace who is a real piece of work, that one. Yep. Uh, <laughs> uh, and um, uh, they, they eventually are like, oh, we now know where the other half of the Rubik's Cube is. And the key is the sister of the guy who definitely died. Are you new here? Let us explain repeatedly how definitely this guy died. <laughs> and then it's like, oh, we got the sister. He's like, but you didn't get me. Steps out of the shadows. <gasps> uh, guy who died. Wait, just because I know you remember this part. Uh, the two characters, Michelle Rodriguez and the Dom. Dom's sister. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah are the Iron in Giant. Tokyo. Yes. How do they realize where yeah. the sister okay. is? Yeah. So first of all, they go to a ramen shop that I shit you not. <laughs> they order this is a five fucking minute scene <laughs> that begins with them ordering bowls of ramen. <laughs> and they sit down and they're like, oh man, oh, here we are in Tokyo. This was a real bust. What a fucking jerk off waste of time this was. <laughs> and I the thing people famously it. say in Tokyo. <laughs> Three and a half minutes into this five minute scene, I lean over to Brett and I was like, not one of them has taken a bite yet. <laughs> <laughs> All they do is, is poke at it. One bite is taken off, off camera. <laughs> so you get wide you, 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 over you the shoulder shot. You just hear ASMR like, mm, nah, 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 nah. no, 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 no. They don't, they don't even. They're just, they're just mixing their noodles or whatever. And then they're like, yeah, man, it's so weird. Oh, oh the only clue we have is this postcard, postpart from. Tokyo of a Spanish church uh, with a giant cross on it. Uh, man, was that weird? That one guy, he always said, like, Tokyo <laughs> is the Mexico of the world. Wait a minute. What? What's that? <laughs> and they look at it in a fucking window. Yeah. The big, big, big reveal, and this cannot be oversold based on Brian. I mean, I'm not, I'm not, no, I'm, I'm not overdoing it. I'm not overdoing it. And there's like a big swell, like it's just like na 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 na, -na and Michelle Rodriguez is pointing up into the corner. What does she see? She sees a dormitory window with a Mexican flag in it. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, oh fuck, we did it. <laughs> the only thing that would have been better, and I joked with Brian, is if it plays. He's like, oh, my God, points. And then it slowly pans up, and it's a Taco Bell. <laughs> <laughs> an empty Corona bottle. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, here's somebody a bum puts an empty Corona bottle. It's like, what the fuck? Oh, yeah. by, by the way, apparently, every alcoholic, uh, 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 the only alcohol that exists in this world is Corona. They love Coronas. <laughs> all right, all right, here we go. Speed round, how does it end? You get to see old Michael, Michael Rooker, and, and when Dom comes in, you'll never believe what he's doing. Drinking Corona. No. Wrenching. <laughs> He's fucking wrenching, right? But then he gets a Corona. And then he gets yeah. a Corona. He does both, right? Uh, and, and so then they, uh, they're like, ah. oh, uh, Dom dies. Dom dies in an extended seven oh, fucking but wait, how minute. Oh, did he die? Oh, he dies by, he dies. Uh, you're laughing. He dies and you're laughing. <laughs> It was funny. He had to be there. <laughs> yeah. the, the the bad guys are coming in. John Cena says, uh, uh, "Oh, you thought a weirdo had this hideout? This used to be my hideout." Hey, bah, 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 bah. And then uh, uh, he runs off. Uh, uh, all of a sudden, everyone flows in, and uh, and then clearly, with enough time to leave and close the door behind him, uh, uh, the Iron Giant instead closes the door and locks himself on the inside. Family. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then Michelle Rodriguez has to watch it. And also, it's implied, explicit, I guess, explicitly shown that the door opens on both sides. So there was no reason for him to stay <laughs> on that side. But he beats up everyone until finally uh, 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 he collapses the the, the everything oh, into the what? water. What? How? How does he do something I, like I that? Don't know. Frankenstein, it's his strength. Frankenstein style. He reaches up to chains that are hanging from the ceiling and just 
Ah, he says, I am not a weapon. <laughs> Collapse is the entire silo. This <laughs> like nuclear silo. And then and then for some reason is bestowed the magical gift of 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 backstory upon dying. So he's in the water dying. We get seven minutes of him remembering. Well, yeah, I guess my brother did explain to me all of that stuff about how he killed my dad. Now that I think about it, <laughs> and then uh, and then and then he wakes up in a gurney, and Michelle Rodriguez is there again. Uh, but the uh, uh, also, not joking. Um, there's a Fiero that gets launched into space. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they launch a car into space uh, because they need to to get to the satellite to stop the thing. They said they say it moves from infected thing to infected thing, almost like. A virus <laughs> is how they explain it, but they stop it by launching a Pontiac up there, and and they're it's it was, it's dumb, it's dumb. <laughs> Everybody, oh please! That oh, also the me. end of the movie <clears throat> involves a family dinner to which John Cena is invited. <laughs> no, no, he's no, 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 no. Oh, is that, that that's, that's implied? That's, the Rock. That's backstory. No, uh, oh. uh, uh. uh what what you didn't pick up on because you've not seen the previous eight movies. Yeah, I told you we should have gone back and watched. We should have watched the previous eight yeah. movies, but uh, it used to be a buddy thing with him and Paul Walker. Paul Walker died, but his character is not dead in the movie. So when they were like, "Oh, somebody's missing," uh, then the the car that pulls up is Paul Walker. Yeah, but he's dead. That was a really <laughs> shitty thing for me to say at the end because otherwise it should have been happy. No, no, no. I mean, or, or maybe it would have been a really movie. good thing to, ha to have him think about before he died. The person who meant most to him, <laughs> you know? But no, he was thinking about other shit. Uh, uh, <sighs> wow. Holy shit. That Pictures. They move. Pizza. Yeah. Did you, did you recognize Cardi B? I am ashamed to admit I don't know. I would... I don't understand the question, <laughs> and I won't respond to no, it. No, Bryce, I, what's I'm, the next topic? I'm, I'm suddenly, I mean, just real quick, I'm just saying that a, a, a good game might be, which one is Cardi B? All right. <laughs> you can give me ten, right. 10 lineups. All right, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Gee, I don't have my wallet. No, I, no, I will put, no, no. I will put, right now, I will pay you uh, $50 if you can guess which character in Fast and the Furious, and, and with reasonable... Uh, uh, oh. A description. Uh, information dump nerd. The British lady. Yes. No. You've got you've got four more guests. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. Uh, okay, I know. It four was more guests. Fifty dollars on the line I right now. Can Brian guess who Cardi B's cameo was in Fast Nine? Uh, girl with the posse of other girls who were, were pretending to be cops. Motherfucker! Yep. Oh, damn it. Fifty dollars. Son of a bitch. <laughs> I All expected right. more yeah. cheering. That's fine. Yeah. No. Yeah. The, the, the one bad actress. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Bryce, what's our next topic? Uh, oh, we've got uh, a few more here. Yeah. Uh, uh, ants 2. <laughs> so the, this one's a short one. We talked about ants, uh, and then we ended up talking about how my dog wants to fuck. Uh, but, but, but. Uh, ants? <laughs> Human style. I love you. <laughs> um, so, so <laughs> there are ants around the shack, and I, I, I know the responsible thing is to spend the thirty whole minutes it would take, and the five whole dollars it would take to buy ant poison yeah. and put it on the ant mound. I, of course, am an idiot and would rather spend hours and hours taking a garden hose and just fucking. Like, oh, does this suck for you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, are those I was your wondering babies? why you were doing that. Um, I thought that you had already put poison, and that was like a cool Texas trick uh, to make the poison go faster. <laughs> I wanted by to watering see it. them carry their babies away from the flood. They're ants. I'm God. They don't play by <laughs> our rules. <laughs> I mean, look, uh, that's fine. I told one ant to build a boat. Did Nobody he? believed it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so all right so instead but, of buying but, but, poison you just watered the ants <laughs> and what happened well it's been a week they grew <laughs> 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 i did i did i did look it up i i at some point i was like am i making it worse and so i googled does 
garden hose kill ants? And and I did see a wiki how Only article. You strangle them with it. <laughs> that said, just a lot of water will eventually do it. So I I, I will update you next week. Are but. you gonna buy poison, or are you now stubborn about killing the ants with waterboarding? Uh, first of all, God works in two ways: water and fire. <laughs> I thought it was mysterious. You're gonna burn <laughs> your shack down and Mysterio. Water, and fire, and mysterious. <laughs> yeah, and Jake Jill it all. Uh, Bryce, we have another topic. Uh, I believe we have got one last topic here. Voices. Oh, I feel like we can save this. Yeah, we can save this. We can oh, save then, this. Yeah, who, we'll make who this put a this surprise. in the dock for we this did, part of well, the show? Well, we weren't expecting Brian's recap to go three hours. <laughs> Brian was we, not expecting we Brian's recap. We were not, not expecting... <laughs> no one, uh, no one I, I, expect none that. of us were prepared. We were, we, we were not expecting the criterion collection of uh, Brian's recap of Fast Nine. So uh, uh, we, have a new, we have new tricks for the show. We will... Debut them. I feel like we should go on tour as Water, Fire, and Mysterious. <laughs> Water, Fire, Hall. <Gyllenhaal>. Uh, uh, all right, that means that this is a great time for us to plug our Patreon. So how about you head on over to patreon.com slash great night right now. Uh, uh, can I just give a gigantic shout out to our, our, our uh, team, our community, the Diamond Club, Chat Realm, that has been with us this entire time throughout oh so many different incarnations of this show. Uh, but you always show up when it matters, and you have shown up to support not only uh, uh, this incarnation of the show, which had uh, great numbers on YouTube and, and on Twitch, but also on Patreon, because you guys have been upping your pledge to the $2 level, which is where you get the bonus episode each and every week that is exclusive. From here on out, if you're listening to this on the free feed, you are getting the pre-show, the show, and the post-show for free in your RSS feed. Last week, it was within hours of us wrapping it up. Uh, if not, it's going to be within 24 hours of it. And uh, uh, for those smart enough to be on the Patreon, you guys get a full, extra, exclusive bonus show. Hells yeah. Uh, and thank you guys. There's been a, a bunch of, of, of Patreon revisions from a dollar to two dollars. Uh, it means a lot. It, it, it is actually going to go into things like getting people to fly down uh, uh, to be here on the show. Have a live guest. Rent, so please uh, don't <laughs> tell him that he should get money for it. <laughs> so, uh, Bryce, Hello. Uh, do, you, do you have a game for us? Sir? I do have a game. Hello. This is uh, uh, partially from our friend BioCow. Thank you, BioCow. Uh, this is a game that, call, uh, that we're calling... Right. No, wait. No, what was that saying? What, what was I going to say? Oh, shit. Uh, Family. Uh, great <laughs> that night. Great that night. Wait a minute, hold on, Bryce. What is I should have written it down. <laughs> great, <laughs> have... great that night. Hey! Oh my Whoa. mother! <laughs> <laughs> Italians. <laughs> <laughs> Mamma mia. So uh, BioCow has found, um, uh, Bi BioCow's got a great idea to increase um, kind of mind share for the name Great Night. It's a new name. Not a lot of people, surprisingly, are using it. Um, and so we, he wrote up a game here, and we're going to play Name That Tune Style. Okay. Um, uh, uh, the question that I'm going to give you. So uh, each of you are going to bid down how many words of the question you need to give me the answer that rhymes with Great Night. Ooh. Okay, all right. Now, before we start with the game, we did charge Brett the Amtrek around Seville oh, with Jesus. one uh, with one thing, and that was uh, to come up with a, a, a consequence for the loser, because we had stakes last time. Uh, Brett? Yeah, yeah, the loser definitely has to snort some of Brian's beer. What? Oh, <laughs> snort? <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's the snort Brian's beer. Snor not all of it. Jesus, what are you, a monster? Just some. Okay. Well, all right, all right, all right. Okay. I'll, I'll make sure to work my way through it. <laughs> 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 all right. Well, uh, there we go. So uh, you each are going to bid down. I'm going to give you how many words are in the question. You're going to tell me how many words you need to answer that question. Uh, if you don't get it right, the next person in line will get an additional word and a guess. Uh, the third person will get the entire question. Um, and uh, one guess as well. So, yeah, uh, we're gonna start the bidding with Brian on this one. Round one, there are six words in the question. Uh, in the question, that's right. So, wait, 
We, we, so I'm, you're I'm getting down can we, can we, can from we the get complete sample? question. A Here's a yeah. perfect example. In yeah. fact, let's just this is this is an, an example round. Brian, yeah. just give me a bid here. You got you got six words. How many words? Well, so let's say four. Four. Okay. Um, and let's say that's the lowest bid. Yeah. Just so just so we've got it. The question I would give you, Brian, and only you, Brian, is: Sir Lancelot was one great knight. Show me great knight. Hooray! Hey! All right, there we go. So okay, there, okay, okay. I got. I I, yeah, I'm am down for this. Okay. Yeah. So you you feel it. you won't need the whole question to get it because you know that it's going to rhyme with great night. Got it. Got it. Got it. All right. So uh, we're going to start with Justin on our real round here. You're going to bid down ten words in the question. How many words do you need, my man? I'm going to say seven words. He says seven. Amtracker. I'll go five words. Brian, can you beat five? I'll say you're a jerk. Okay. All right, well, Brian, let's find out. Justin, Wait, sorry, uh, we, we, we should have some kind of like bowing out thing that's... Yes. Sorry, it's all about family. Yes. <laughs> uh, uh, no, 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 no. As traditional, oh, my mother. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, Justin, can you beat five? Uh, yes, I can do it in four. Oh, Ooh, my mother. Justin, <laughs> or Brian, or Amchecker, can you beat four? Uh... No, no, I, I will not try to beat four. So All you're right. telling he needs to great that, that night. night. All right, bro, Justin, you got uh, four words here. The other four words are what you might say. <laughs> While Justin's thinking, can I ask a quick housekeeping question? Okay, yes. Uh, 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 yeah. I don't know if this is an aesthetic decision, uh, but but w w wasn't there like raining faces yesterday uh, or or last week? And nobody's using emotes, so uh, if you, oh, um, I see. Okay, uh, no, no, <laughs> I they mean, were. They can... were. It wasn't. It wasn't showing up. Um, uh, I, uh, I can look for that while while yeah, yeah, Justin yeah. is no, thinking. No, no, no. Here we go. Uh, uh, okay. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Is that okay. enough emotes for you? I now, we're like I just now we're going. I just everything. <laughs> Justin, your four words in the question are what, say it again. You, what you might say. If Justin doesn't get this, uh, Amtrekker will get a guess with an additional word in the question. Family. In a knife fight. <laughs> uh, what was your answer? Uh, uh, what was it? Ten words? Uh, uh, the question is ten words, but the answer will rhyme with great night. Knife fight. Knife fight. Ooh. We need to go to science? I think I have to go to science on this one because I think Ooh. I think I fucked up. I think I oh. fucked up. Oh my. You mother. fucked up. Oh my god. I saw F9 last night. <laughs> a pricey <laughs> snorting a beer. Uh, I have uh, written down knife fight. I'm gonna plug that into science here. Shh. Beep boop. Ooh. <laughs> All right. Oh, I hope there was something important on that screen. Uh, we're going to give that point to Justin. Hey! Oh, yeah! The oh! full question. So I got, I, I should have said this. Uh, the word great will be in this. The, the word great will always be, be the first word. Uh, oh, well, then he did not <laughs> win. I meant to tell everybody. You did not get a point. Like, <laughs> tell it to <laughs> fucking it's science, like, science, baby. Oh. It's, like, it's like Mike Tyson and Muhammad Ali get in the ring, and they say go, and then the two of them debate politics, and then the breath comes in and says, I'm sorry. I should have explained. The game is you have to punch each other. <laughs> but uh, there would be a point like that if that had happened. So that's going to be a point to Justin. Congrats, Justin. Uh, they, the full question was, what you might say after a really good boxing match? Nice. Uh, great fight. Great fight. Great great fight. fight. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Or if right, I would have right. known... Fight. So if you would have known the great. rules and you would have given the correct, <laughs> I would have said. You would have said. Then you no, I got, the but point. I got the right word. Oh, no, you I got, got the right, got the right word that I was looking for. That's that's that you're the greatest oh, that's of all time. You just got half a yeah, correct sorry. answer. Hey, Is oh, it really a whole correct answer? Oh no, I'm working on what I got. Get them, get them nostrils ready, boys. All right, fellas, round two. Snorting time over there. We're going to start with Amtrekker on the bidding on this one. Round two. Uh, there are eight words in this one. Amtrekker, can you bid down from eight for me to name 
to great that night. Yeah, let me let me just clarify the rules one more time Absolutely. before I do this. Totally. Uh, so I can just other. say as many words as I can think of that rhyme with night at the end, and science gives me points. No, you do have to. You get to. You have one guess. You only get one guess. I mean, you can. But it can be infinity rhyming words long. No, it cannot. That will, well, that will, that will, that will be, most likely be incorrect. It would be. <laughs> did was it your full time job to stop this kind of behavior <laughs> yeah. at live events? Yeah, <laughs> like, that's how I know how to do it. Uh, All right, eight, five, five words. He says five. Brian, can you beat five? I'll, uh, 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 great that night. Justin, can you beat five? Mm. Oh my mother! You go ahead and do it. <laughs> ah, you go ahead and do it. Amtrak, your five words are. Steven Spielberg made a movie. <laughs> News to me, bro. <laughs> if he did, I ain't never seen it. <laughs> E.T. the extra testicle, am I right? <laughs> anyway, I'm just going to keep on making puns about Jaws and other words, yeah. trying to distract your brain. Hey, remember Hook? All Close right. encounters of the, the Banger, third right? kind. Yeah. That was, that, was, that was a great flight. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, hey, remember uh, Avatar? Yeah, that, that wasn't but, made by Steven <laughs> Spielberg, but that was still right. a good movie. But, but uh, man, ma they made them dinosaurs. That took them to new heights. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Richard Donner died. <laughs> Steven Spielberg made a movie. <laughs> Brett, we are looking for you to name. Oh, great. That night. This is going great. This is a great episode, too. Episode two should be this good. I just wanted to remind you. <laughs> he was a Remember great he movie maker. War of the Worlds? You know, yeah. he doesn't believe in aliens anymore. He said in interviews that he used to believe in aliens during Close Encounters of the Third Kind, but then uh, he Is said. There a time limit on this one? So wow. <laughs> Steven Spielberg. What a great white director. Oh. And so your answer is great Racist. white. Racist. His answer is racist. I just I just want to make sure because sometimes we joke around here. I want to know white. your answer yeah, is great. Sometimes white. we joke. White. We just want to make sure we're serious about your white. racism. Like the shark. Absolutely, like the shark. Woo! Steven Spielberg made a movie about one of these. All a great right, white all shark. All right, all That's... right. That was bullshit. Uh, uh, <laughs> Brett Weaver, what is our score so far? On well, Magic? the score so far is uh, Justin has won. Mm -hmm. Brett mm -hmm. has won. Brian's a big goose egg. Uh, well, yeah, but how many points do I have? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I uh, I got a goose egg here for you. Callback from the yeah, that's a callback from the parking yeah, lot. Yeah, 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 Silver Fox that's parking oh, lot. Oh, yes. yes. the pre-show now yeah. available in yeah. the free in the free <laughs> feed for free. Go get it. <laughs> no. Round three, we're gonna start with Brian for bidding on this mm, one. Yeah. Ooh, how many words? You are bidding down from ten. You're bidding three. down from 10 words. Oh, he Woo! says three. Justin. Right, can you um, beat, can you beat family. You, uh, <laughs> oh, my mother. Okay. <laughs> Justin said, oh, my mother. Uh, Amtrekker, can you beat three? Oh, 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 my mother. All right, Brian. <laughs> Great. That night, your three words are a common myth. <laughs> <laughs> A common myth. Uh, now there are what ten words in the full question. That are out there, like, uh, like oh. tortoise in the hair is not a myth. Yeah, that's a, uh, that's a fable. Yeah. Or, uh, well, there's a uh, uh, Icarus. Yeah. yeah. Right? Achilles. Uh huh. Like yeah. Achilles rhymes yeah. with night. Mm -hmm. A the common myth, orgasm. Bryce, is right. that eating carrots will give you great sight. Oh, that's a good, that's a good one. That's a Your answer of great sight is. Absolutely oh! correct. Oh! Oh, there should be bonus points. Oh! Are you kidding me? Why do you, know you don't get bonus me. points? Turns out it's the uh, exact same. Exact same amount of same points. Amount of points. <laughs> oh, you kind of had the same challenge everyone did. Yeah, That's wow. right. The full question, a common myth is that carrots will give you this. Uh, yeah, wow. uh, 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 you guys know the backstory about that, right? That that was a lie that was told by the British because they didn't want to reveal a little thing they had invented called radar. Would you call it their <laughs> second greatest con? <laughs> Oh. oh, that would imply that there was one con even exactly. greater. I know that you could find out at patreoncom slash <laughs> greatest con. Greatest con. All right, uh, round four. Holy shit, I can't believe I got that. <laughs> We're back to Justin on this one. 
Uh, here we go. I'm. Uh, there are eight words in this question, Justin. Can you bid down from eight? Five. Four. Five. Four. Ooh. Amtrekker says four. All right. Uh, Brian, will you beat four? Yes, it will. What? I'm saying. I'm no, saying no, you great, great that you're saying. Oh, you have to say. You that. have to say, "Oh, my mother," when you're oh, passing. Sorry, <laughs> "Oh, my mother." All right, uh, Justin, can you beat four? Yes, three. Three. What? Oh, right. my mother. All right, Justin, you got three. Your question words are: a, really scary, great that night. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that. Um, things that are really scary are Dracula. Uh, or, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 carnivorous animals, uh, crabs, mm -hmm. uh, lice, dry mm -hmm. lice, feet, pubic lice. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Gen like genital herpes. nostril hairs. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, 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 These are all things that would give me a no, and they wouldn't. No, no, they right, right. That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. Here we go. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, who's that character? <laughs> I, don't, I, I really like yeah, that character. Yeah, I think she's, I think she's ra helping Dom raise a kid, though. <laughs> hmm. I don't quite, I don't quite understand that. I guess I, I need to see the recap again. All right, Brett, what's na, the standings? Na, 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 na. Well, uh, <laughs> Brian uh, did a great job of just pulling up with everybody else to, with one. <laughs> Brett. Uh, Come on, you gotta do our. No, I'm trying, bro. Do our name. I'm here for you uh, all night he's long. He's got a one. All and great night. Justin very easily got two points. There we go. Oh. Mm, I don't know. One to two to <laughs> one. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> print out some bird bucks and start <laughs> slipping them to Brett so he talks nicer about me during the show. Bird bucks. Bird bucks. Bur bird bucks. Bird bucks. Uh, is this the last round? Wait, well, what, 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 what are you pushing? <laughs> I just feel like we've like, oh, uh, uh, did we not get enough? Your your I got like, a game like you got one share ahead of us, and you're like, uh, so, uh, so we're done, huh? Is that we're it? Done. Is that it? Are we, are we good? Am I right? Feels uh, like a natural we, end point, is what I'm saying. <laughs> we, yeah, it feels yeah, like a time How many telecoms connect. do we need? Well I mean, yeah. hi, I'm AT. This is my partner, T. We've got a few more rounds here on Great That Night. We are bidding down from 14 words Holy this time. Cow. We are going to start with one. Uh, with Amtrekker, I would like you to bid down from 14, please. 13. 13, Brian. 12. 12, Justin. 7. 7. Amtrek. 5. 5, Brian. 4. 4, all right, Justin. Oh. Ah. Mother. <laughs> all right, Justin's on my mother. Brett, are you... Are you going to beat four? Oh, my mother. Wow. All right. There we go. Uh, <laughs> By the way, this is this is like 25% more words than I've ever needed before. <laughs> On a way longer <laughs> sentence. <laughs> all right. Your four words, Brian, are how would you describe great that night? <laughs> <laughs> Question. Yes. Oh no no no! It's your turn to answer. It's answering how, time, not asking time. How would you describe? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? It was better that he said it again. It was even funnier. <laughs> could, you please, could you please use it in a sentence? <laughs> uh, absolutely. <laughs> Excuse me. Can we, Country can of this, origin. If please. we can clear comms here just for a sec. How would you describe? Okay. Uh. <sighs> I would say I am in a great plight. <laughs> great plight is your answer. Your answer of great plight I is. God, if you get this. Uh, Woo! That would have been great, though. Incorrect. Oh my God! Tell me been, that wouldn't have been. Epic. That would have been pretty funny. Uh, so we're gonna go uh, next to Justin. Justin's gonna get an additional word. Justin, your question is: How would 
you describe this. <laughs> ah, fuck you. Uh, uh, Justin Bloody Young. <laughs> Everything about him is a complete farce. And yes, I do use those words intentionally. <laughs> How would you describe this? Uh, 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 I could draw great, uh, great might. Great might. Yeah. His answer. Incorrect. Mm -hmm. That is not it. Mm -hmm. Brett, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we are, uh, you're the last one to guess here and you're going to get the entire question. Are you ready for it? Oh, I like this. Here we go. All right. How would you describe this Coca-Cola product if you really like it? That's a great Sprite. That's a great oh. sprite. You graded that. Nice. I didn't know I was so good at this game. Fuck you. I didn't know. Fuck you. Why didn't you tell me I'd be so good at this? You're just a piece of shit. <laughs> this is the best feeling. <laughs> I'm really happy for you. What are our standings, <laughs> Brett? Just, just to be sure, do I <laughs> add extra points? No, no, that? no. That's one point to 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 to, to, to Amtracker. All right. Uh, then Amtracker. Uh, he got two. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, Justin got two. Mm -hmm. Brian. Still number one, bro. You are. It's hard for me to give up the number one position. That's right. So hey, should we stop there? Good game. 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 Get the get snorting it. ready because you still only have one point. Uh, it's just, just a few more here. Uh, we're going to start with, uh, I believe, Brian on this one? Yep. 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 Uh, to yep. bid, you're going to bid down from. 18. <laughs> All right. Can you beat? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what would you like to bid down from 18? Uh, I'd like to remind everybody once, of the how would you describe you. problem. <laughs> Fool me twice, shame on me. Fool me seven more times. <laughs> Fuck this game. Am I right? Don't get fooled again. Uh, I will say 13. Brian will say 13. All right. Uh, we're going to go to Justin. Can you beat out, 13? Out of what? Out of 18. Uh, yeah, I'll do 10. He'll do 10. Amtracker, can you beat 10? 9. 8. And Brian says 8. Justin? 7. 7. Amtracker, can you beat 7? 6. 6. Okay, Brian, can you beat 6? <laughs> will you beat 6? Oh, my mother. <laughs> All right, Brian is oh, my mother. Justin, will you beat 6? Oh, my mother. Oh, oh your guys' mothers. My mother. Alrighty, your six words, Brett, are. Oh, I swear to God. Put them right in there. <laughs> Some streamers look like they film. Some streamers look like they film. Okay. Should I just answer now? Yeah. And yeah, then please. I and then I win and then it's over, that. right? Well, um, we've got we've we've got a uh, we've got a great light. One, one more time. Great light. Absolutely great light is what, what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Some streamers I didn't look know like I was so good at this game. <laughs> oh, God God damn it. Yeah. All right. Some streamers look like they film in a cave, but the new seven acre Schwid studio has this. A great light. Some assholes wrote a game that pissed me <laughs> off really bad and it rhymes with fuck you. I think it doesn't. That is that definitely yeah, royalty free. Not, yeah. We are going into our final round here before we do that, Brett. What is the score? The score is uh, Brian still got one. <laughs> Brett still number one has three. Is it? Mm -hmm. Justin has three. three. No, no, no. I believe no, Justin no. has two. The man said it. The man said it. it. No, 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 Is it? Is that how we play the game? No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Whatever Weaver says, I'm saying. No, 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 no. Weaver says it. Put it in the Wikipedia. Put it in the Wikipedia. I'm sorry. I just had a parking lot egg. I just got me mixed up. No, I think I think you might be right because we're on round. Oh, no, no. Yeah, you're right. I'm right. It's two. Yeah. Okay. Justin's got two. Brian's got one. Brett's got three. And the game Suck ended. parking lot. Egg. Well, we've got one final round here. And this one is for five big points. There we go. Uh, we are going to start with, Not because uh, he's in, uh, he's trailing. Brian, we're going to start bidding with you. I'd like you to bid down the words of the question that you need. The word <clears throat> count is 28. Holy bananas. You know that the first 20 words are... <laughs> 
our forefathers brought onto this great nation many wonderful ideas. Uh, also own slaves. Anyway, what rhymes with? <laughs> 28. Can you beat 28? <laughs> Look at Bryce. He's been found out. Look at him. Look at the shame. 27 is my 27. bid, sir. All right. Uh, Justin, will you beat 28? Or 27, uh, excuse me. Yes. With 26. <laughs> uh, Brett? 20. 20. All right. Brian, can you beat 20? Uh, hang on. I have to make a call to my mother real quick. I'm saying, oh, my mother. Uh, yes. I'm, I'm <laughs> tapping out. How did you? Get... Mm. Okay. He's tapped out. Uh, Justin, can you beat 20? 19. 19. Brett? Two. Two. Perfect. Perfect. Justin, will you beat two? Oh, my mother. <laughs> All right, Brett, this is for five points. I guess I, I feel really good. I guess we don't really so do need I. to do this round so at this I. point. But, no. Oh, no. We, I feel really great about it, too. You don't need to. No, actually, he does have to, because if he doesn't get it right, the other people get to guess. Oh, wait oh, a minute. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you and your broken. No, no, no. You, you, you made a broken game, and you broke the game. Listen, and listen, you didn't listen, see listen. him breaking the fucking game, and now I'm gonna spit my beer because I hope I fucking beat you. But I won't because I'm a hot. And fuck you, Brett. Your two words are. <laughs> oh, life is so good. Parafoil, Delta. <laughs> cool. Oh. Two words are parafoil. Great Delta. kite. You say great night? Great no. kite. kite. Ah, great kite. I see. Uh, your answer of great kite for five points and the game. Bam. Oh! The I question. didn't know. <laughs> no one told me I was so good at this game. Well, well, it's just the best that's ever oh, done it. Congratulations. Can we get a mirror? Can we get a mirror, please? I need an ornate mirror. I need a flat <laughs> surface. Um, uh, that's, uh, we will figure get this out. Bell. The full question. Get your bell. The full question was, parafoil, delta, and box versions of these are fantastic to fly, but chat realm would most likely fly a diamond type of this classic toy because it is a... Great kite. Great Somebody kite. give me a fucking bowl to spit into. Because you're going to get a full-on snort all the way into the uh, palate and spat right out so you know it's real. <laughs> all right. So we need a, we need I, a bowl. I'll go get a bowl. I'll, I'll go get a bowl because someone can find a surface, I suppose. Somebody, uh, also... Gosh. Uh, fucking let me smoke a bowl before this shit. What the fuck? <laughs> All right. So Bryce is going to go get a parafoil. bowl. You are going to have the to. the word parafoil. I'm like, Bryce's an asshole. Parafoil. Yeah. Woo. Wow. And that was designed to fuck you on game theory. Yeah. Because yeah. he went down to two thinking that you would have three. I mean, congrats. Uh, I feel very fucked. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. But instead, he got it I mean, fair and square. Yeah. Like, like that. It turns out he was actually talented. He was a shitbag. But it turns oh, my, out he yeah. was a, a talented My, my, my favorite part was the super fair way that you went from 20 down to 2 yep. in, your, in your guesses, knowing full well you would get all 28 words. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Brett. Right, a surface for oh, right. how, how, does, how does one snow? Oh, oh, you mean like, like, uh, like, a, like, a, like a cocaine and rhinestones thing? Yeah. Uh, oh, Christ. Here we go. Let's all get right. some ASMR here. God damn it. Extra spitty. Right. Here's what you don't know is that this is actually not McConaughey's. <laughs> <laughs> Robin Earl, 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 Earl Keen, Keen Golden Earl Ale. Earl Keen. Yeah. There you go. This one goes out to Robert Earl Keen. Shout out to a legend. Appearing across the street from me this Friday. This Friday. <clears throat> yeah, Nutty, Nutty Brown, Brown Cafe. Yeah, uh, unsolicited <laughs> shout out to Robert Earl Keen playing live. Here in the Dripping pouring, Springs area. He's pouring some on the plate here. It's, yep. He's grumbling quite a lot. He's put a healthy amount in there, by the way. You can't, I don't know if we can see it from the angle, but it, is, it is a good amount of, uh, of, of beer that he's now going to snort. This has all gone very well. 
Here we go. Does this make it better or worse if you're laughing at the same time? <laughs> then, then it'll never go in. Yeah. <sighs> it's gonna. It's. I, oh, it's gonna be. Just think of it me. like it's. The it 80s. will. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, think of it like you're snorting beer in the it's 80s. Also, it's a pretty shallow plate. <laughs> so you got to really like shove your face like in really there. It's a really robust, hazy IP. It, it, it's yeah. floral. Like, it's, it's not it's, fucking yeah. round. It's like, you smell this it's shit. Got, oh, it's got, it's got a good beer. bouquet. Yeah, I, it's I, got a really great it, bouquet. But it's a shallow bowl, so you really got to shove your face in there. I'm going to have one beer tonight. I'm going to get pulled over on the way home. <laughs> <laughs> and then the officer's going to be like, you know, normally I would have you have a breathalyzer. We're just going to skip all that. <laughs> yeah, you gotta really get, get in the there. Yeah, you gotta get in there. Get the nostril in there. there. Like, like, yeah, yeah. Oh, do we have a straw yeah, yeah. or a dollar bill? Give me a dollar bill. All right, what All is right. that? Dollar bill? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dirty ass dollar bill. That'll be, that'll be. Even that, more. I'm sure. We'll Brian be. using a dirty ass dollar bill right. to snort <laughs> beer. It used you're, to be. You're used vaccinated, for right? I, I want you to do. Build, a, I, build I want a, you to know I'm only doing this to build next. a studio. They said <laughs> it'll be fun. They said. <laughs> <laughs> the only pleasure I'm get, getting is that I'm desecrating the image of the Illuminati. Oh, no, he's going back. He's going back. <laughs> oh, my God. No, that's enough. That's enough. You got enough. <laughs> Stop, please don't have any more. <laughs> this, is, this is like that moment the ref stopped the fight when Muhammad Ali made too good of a point during that debate. <laughs> <laughs> Patreon.com slash great night. Thank you all for your support to enable bullshit like this. Follow us on Great Night Live on Twitter as well. I don't He's want like, this school stop, anymore. Stop, stop. Nobody should eat pork. He's right. He's you want right. to know what? You want to know what? Here's the deal. <laughs> Brian, that was an amazing moment, but obviously we need a minute here. So what do you say we bring on our musical guest? Oh, thank God, yes. I love this idea. Uh, ladies, Is it Robert Earl King? It's not Robert Earl King. <laughs> uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, you oh. know him uh, from his work uh, with the fantastic <sighs> and mighty Possum Posse and their Guy on a Buffalo series. <laughs> Uh, playing uh, 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 awesome music that you have likely never heard before because he is a god of such things. Can we please give a gigantic great night, Diamond Club, Chat Realm, welcome to the one, the only, Joe Throw up them emotes, man. All right. Uh, uh, how do you... Uh, I want to sit on this beer story stool. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, thank you, sir. Oh, goodness. Man. <laughs> I didn't know I was I didn't know I was in for that. That was exciting. Pretty good. Ah. Oh, the studio is amazing, man. This is this is a uh, it's pretty exciting. I'm honored. Uh, I'm going to play a song or two. Uh, I've been writing songs every week for the last year and a half or so. And uh, this is one I haven't really played in public. I think I uh, played it for you guys a couple weeks ago. Uh, but sorry, I forgot to get my pick out. I'm just stalling. All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play some blues for you all. Because I feel like... Yeah. Uh. Well, I got Angela in the morning. Sandra at night, she asked me if I could squeeze her in. I said, Pamela, I just might, cause I'm lo-fi. I'm so lo-fi. Can't nobody tell me about fidelity. Baby, I'm so lo-fi. 
came home this morning, my baby was asked about a wedding ring. I looked her straight in the face. I said, baby, that ain't my thing. I'm lo-fi. You know I'm so lo-fi. Can't nobody tell me about fidelity because I'm so lo-fi. Well, I woke up this morning, thoughts swimming in my head like, what is it that makes a man's life important? What is it that makes a man's life real? You know, if I, if I really stop and think about it, um, other people have feelings, and I know that. I'm aware of that fact, that people have the same range of emotions that I have, but it, I don't let them... I don't let them express those emotions in a way that I can accept. I don't give them the space to express who they really are and what they really feel. Um, and ultimately, that damages a lot of the relationships in my life, if really I can say that there are any true relationships in my life. Um, and then I started thinking to myself, you know, I'm not young. I'm getting old. And I think everybody wants companionship, ultimately. And, I mean... If something were to happen to my companion, if something were to happen to me, I think the idea would be that we would be able to take care of each other. You know, what if, uh, what if one of us were to become incapacitated? What if there's no one there to take care of the other person? And, and that includes emotional incapacitation. And I think I'm there. And um, I think to myself, why don't you let someone in? Is it fear? I think it's fear-based. It's of some sort of fear of attachment, and um, I, I don't know fear of what. I think it's ultimately self self hatred, and uh, all I know is ultimately if I don't change my ways, I'll die alone, which I don't really want. Cause I'm so lo-fi. <laughs> to tell me by fidelity cause I'm so low fine hey oh thank you is my guitar not working yeah it's acting up a little bit we got we is, got you mic'd up now is You're this good. guitar is this the mic for yeah, the guitar yeah that's your guitar mic if you want to bring it in I have this cool thing happen uh, we went up to Nebraska to play a barbecue festival and um we had three shows on the way up there. The first night, we did a sound check, plugged in the guitar, everything worked great, and then 200 people showed up, and I went to strum, and nothing happened. And so they brought out a mic, much like this, because they had excellent people. And uh, so then the next night, we went, we tested it. I took it to a guitar shop, and the guy was like, you idiot, you got to change the battery, man. You're, you're an idiot. <laughs> Buy these batteries from me. And so I did, and it worked at the guitar shop. Then I did the same thing. I sound checked, played it, when the people were there, it didn't it didn't work. And by that point, I had called in a buddy to have a backup guitar. And now here we are. There's some sort of curse on this thing. I don't know why. I, I was here earlier. You heard it. It was working. Uh, but, you know, whatever. Whatever, man. We're going to figure it out. Um, this one, um, Justin, do you want to do you want to help me on this one? You, you've heard this song. It's really it's really important. This one has like a what do you call it? Like a vocal effect. Y'all can y'all can do it too. You can do it at home. Uh, you'll kind of catch on. It should be kind of obvious. No, uh, it, it's. I think. I mean, look. I, I've always known you as a as a tremendous lyricist, but uh, uh, this one I think goes goes above and beyond. I'm honored to be a part of it. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. I was camping on the beach. Cause I like to rough it, playing my guitar, mostly Jimmy Buffett. This mermaid popped up. She was like, hey, man, we got a party going on down here. We need a band. 
I was like, that's awesome. But I got this beef. I can't breathe underwater. I can't rock your reef. She said, I got you, boo. I got mermaid skills. She kissed me on the neck. Bam, I had gills. So I jumped in, sunk down in the water. There were mermaids, mermen, octopuses, otter. And this is what it sounded like when we sang along. Everybody said, let's do that one song. It went. <laughs> I jumped back up, going berserk. That mermaid lied and these gills don't work. I looked down, I was laying back in the sand. It was a crazy dream, my guitar was in my hand. I picked it up to rock a Buffett jam. My guitar was sounding kind of weird, man. And so I tipped it over and some water poured out. I was like, what's going on? What's this all about? So I just drifted back off into my siesta, back down to my mermaid fiesta. There was manatees, sharks, and dang, this is what it sounded like when we all sang. <laughs> it's muffled underwater, you can't hear it. It's muffled underwater, you can't hear it. But you, it was good for what it was. But I realized that, you remember that movie, The Little Mermaid? Yeah. Bullshit. Total bullshit. It was total bullshit. Hans Christian Anderson is so full of shit. Hans Christian Anderson is so full of shit. That, no, that's all. Ladies and that's gentlemen, Joe. Oh, thank, thank you. Thank you. That's a true story. Thank you. Thank Excellent you. Thank you. Uh, just when I thought that my night couldn't get better than Brian snorting beer. <laughs> Uh, 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 Jomo here, uh, 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 stay over there on, on the side. We're going to wrap up the show and then we will, uh, uh, play more here in the, uh, in, in, in the after show. Watch out for that plug. Yeah. Brian, come on back up here. Uh, I, I don't know about you. I was all in for the, like, creating a hate mob for Hans Christian Anderson. <laughs> <laughs> like, so I was ready to grab a, a, a torch and start shouting bullshit. I, I, I feel like uh, 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 we can't we can't do better. This is, oh, this no, no, is no, the no, show. No, no. I, I, mean, yeah. I mean, I mean, I, look, this is why. Look, I knew that because I, I, I kept pushing. I was like, man, it'd be great if we had a musical guest. Yeah. What if it was Jomo? He's the best. And you were like, Jomo's total bullshit. No, <laughs> total no. Bullshit. <laughs> never, never was said. Uh, uh, guys, uh, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you uh, so much for uh, being here for Great Night. Hopefully you guys have, have understood that this is something that will get bigger and better each and every week now that we have a playhouse. You can support that at patreon.com slash night attack. Brian, is there anything that we've learned? At where? Year, Excuse me, at where? Fuck me! Oh, da, 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 da. Grab that man, the belt right over there is right over there. That's where the belt is. You gotta wear the belt. That's twice today. Why don't you buy some eggs from me in this parking lot? All right. All right. Oh, he snorted some beer off the belt, so I have to dry off the belt a little bit. Oh. But we do have we do have one other last thing. I mean, if we're talking about making the show bigger, better. Oh God! <laughs> God! It's bad, huh? Oh! <laughs> Almost like it was a really bad punishment. Oh! That made up. You just made Brett very ha both Bretts, two Bretts. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oh my mother! <laughs> It was total bullshit. It was total, total bullshit. Uh, all right. Robert Wait, Robert what were you saying? So <laughs> we, we were talking, we were kind of doing wrapping up and saying like, oh, bigger and better. And don't we have one last thing to end the show with, right? Uh, a little, a little, a little uh, everybody, anybody else oh, know oh, what oh, I'm talking uh, about? Uh, no, no, no. Uh, let's, Do let's take a moment. I don't know where I am. <laughs> <laughs> Eyes on me. Eyes on me, sir. Sir, are you yeah. aware of where you are? Yes. Okay. Uh, ahem. What did we learn today? We learned that, that that the only thing better than snorting McConaughey's is, is freebasing it. Yes. Oh, it's been a great night. A great night. The brand new lullaby by Mike TV. What? We learned that we love our audience and we're making things bigger than ever. And we can't thank you enough for all of the support you guys have given us. And we'll snort 
Makai's for you. We will. Also, I, I, I because I snorted beer, I, I didn't preface this by saying this is a rough cut. It'll be better. Mike TV made me say that. Uh, we love you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Stay around here for the after show. Until next time. Fucking it's make it rain. Just still a great night. Let's see some rain. Love you guys. Just to my friend, the pain never ends the moment you walk away. Slamming my fingers in a door repeatedly feels just the same. Ow. Gray night. You keep me alive. You help me survive. No, there's never been a greater night, a single bed, a later night, a pause, the masturbation night, a let's get drunk and laugh tonight. There's never been a greater, great night. Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs>